Hello, this is Jennifer with Women Loving Jesus, and today we are on Proverbs 12, 20. Deceit is in the heart of those who devise evil, but those who plan peace have joy. What this is talking about is the advice and the wisdom that we may receive from other people. Obviously, Proverbs is about godly wisdom. How God gives us that wisdom is through his scripture, through his spirit, the Holy Spirit sharing it with us. And then also he may use people to share godly wisdom and help us, especially with certain decisions or details in life. He's clearly telling us, though, in this scripture that Satan plans people who are deceitful and their plans are deceitful and they will try to give you advice away from the Lord. And then it talks about, you know, people who follow uh, the plan of peace have joy. Those who follow God will have joy in their spirit. One of the things that I have seen that I think among Christians that Satan has really deceived a lot of Christians is the wisdom that they are receiving from other people um, and being led astray by Satan because they don't realize what God is really saying. When God has a plan for us and a purpose in our life to get this joy and this peace, Satan's like, no, I'm here to kill, steal, and destroy. I don't want you to listen to that advice. And this has to do with every category. This has to do with our relationships, our health, our finances, our purposes in life, the ways that we um, gain wisdom, help others grow closer to the Lord. So you will have God trying to direct us, plan A with those topics, and then Satan will come along and have a plan B trying to guide you with those topics. Whenever it is something important and next step, you will always have those two plans. Satan's smart enough not to make it super obvious. I mean, he is deceitful. When he came and tried to destroy Jesus, he used, used Judas, who was a disciple. He didn't use one of the random people in Jerusalem. And he often, it talks about how he was in the synagogues. He was with the religious leaders. So he's not using an evil person you think down the street. He is using people who you don't think you would question their advice. And so then... You may think God's plan A sounds risky or you have to have some faith and you don't understand it. And Satan comes along, kills, steal, destroy, brings a person that you think is trustworthy because they may be associated with Christian and turns and deceives you and it's a mess. Well, how do you know that maybe you've kind of taken Satan's advice instead of God's? Which, you know, at one point we all have, including myself, is as time goes on, you will clearly see everything is a mess. Things aren't working out. Frustration. There's no peace. There's no joy. Um, and as you're turning to the Lord, the Lord is kind of guiding you that maybe this wasn't a good idea. Now, praise the Lord, we can repent, and then he puts us on the right path. With the Lord, over time, we're making the right decision we are, it, it, it doesn't mean there's not difficulties. There may be difficulties, but there's this peace and this joy that is coming along with following his advice. So this is what this scripture is saying. So once again, this is where discernment and really praying and knowing the Lord through his word and his spirit will help us with people and discerning wisdom and advice. I pray the spirit of God has taken this word of God and has encouraged you today.